when you put the islet from a patient into another patient, the patient that received the transplant has an immune system they will recognize as foreigner, this, this graft. So now, in order to, uh, and so it's gonna attack it and kill it, uh, as well as they do for pathogens, so from uh, viruses for, uh, and bacteria. So in order to prevent the destruction of the graft, you normally use these anti-rejection drugs. This, but this, <laughs> these anti-rejection drugs have a lot of um, side effects. So the idea is, why don't we put a barrier? We just hide the cells. But the way we hide the cells, it has to be a smart hiding. Not, we can't just put solid plastic around the eyelids. There will be some kind of wall, because then the eyelids will die, will chunk. It's like if, if, you, if you put a plastic bag around your head, you're not gonna breathe and you're, you're gonna die immediately. So you can't do that. You need to put something that allows oxygen uh, to be transported through, the, um, through this barrier and uh, so that the islets can breathe. And also you need something that's, uh, in which foods can get in and waste can get out so that the islets can actually live in this new home that you're creating for them. So imagine it's like putting a network that is very, very, very fine, like the mesh is very, very, very fine, but not too fine. And the kind of how fine this mesh is, is controllable through the kind of this jelly material called hydrogel that you put around the islets. You can see that islets, this is a human islet cluster, and then you have this transparent thing, and this is our capsule, and you see how nicely it wraps our islets. And another thing you can do, you can also label this transparent uh, pellicula with a green dye, and then you're able to see the capsule in green and this is just sectioning. If you were, if we were sectioning an apple, you can see how nice the coating goes around the eyelet.